Hello my friends, welcome to a new video. Today, a review of the Rockting 004. When I first started simulator driving, I attached my wheelbase to my desk. I had my pedals with some uh, block behind it so they wouldn't slip away. And every time that I wanted to drive, I needed to fiddle with it and fit it again. And it got tiresome uh, after a while. So I decided to buy a wheel stand, uh, well, not, not this one obviously, and it was a really a game changer. So the configuration of a wheel set is of course a bit different than you have with normal rigs. Eh? You have here the design which dictates uh, the changes that you can have in it. The scissor movement of the 004's folding mechanism lets you define the inclination of the pedals. This inclination is the only setting to configure and it is dependent on the position of the steering wheel because of the folding motion. The wheelbase holder can be tilted up and down in a very wide range, although I would have preferred a bit more wiggle room for the upwards position for van or truck simulations. The wheelbase tray can also be adapted in depth with a travel of 10 cm. On top of this, you have the ability to the height with the periscope dupe with a minimum height of the tray at 45 cm and a maximum height of 88 cm. Included also with the 004 is a small tray to attach a desk chair to your frame. Here you have 20 cm of configuration space to find the correct distance to the pedals. The almost entire configuration of the rig can also be done on the fly. I had no issues, even with the Camus C12, which is notorious for its low profile, to find a good driving position with the available configuration. Of course, I am only a very average 173 centimeters in height. What I also really liked is that it is really foolproof when you construct it. So they put already a few bolts in uh, the frame so that you don't mistake yourself with the bolts that you get, um, which is a really nice gesture too. Uh, it's, it's just small things like, did, uh, like that that uh, they think about, which, uh, which I can really appreciate. Compatibility for steering wheels with the current pre-drilled holes is a strong point of the Explorer. The wheelbase will fit most common Thrustmaster bases like uh, T248, T300 and TGT, as will it support the Logitech bases, Moza bases, Camus and Simagic bases. So in all, a very, very good compatibility list. The same goes for the pedals. The mainstream pedal base of Thrustmaster, Logitech and Fanatec can be attached without issue. Because of the rubber strips at the bottom, the rig stays surprisingly good in place on smooth surfaces. The folding mechanism itself feels uh, well made and is sturdy. The shifter arm is tightly attached to the frame and the periscope tubes and wheelbase holder can be locked properly. The pedals do feature some lightly noticeable flex when in use. This is partly because of the attachment of the supporting brackets to the frame, but also because the pedal tray is yeah, relatively unsupported towards the back when there is inclination on the pedal holder. As said, it was noticeable, but in my perspective, not that bothersome. The wheelbase holder, however, does tend to move more obviously, especially when using it with some powerful wheelbases. As a best practice, I would say not to use more than 8 Nm wheel bases on this holder. If you put on more powerful bases, you will lose all the extra details in the movements the force feedback generates. I also noticed at the very intense moment of using it that the force almost tipped the entire structure to its side, which did surprise me a bit seeing it is not that overly light. This was probably caused by the very high sitting wheel base. So there are certain things that you can do to improve the uh, stability of the wheelbase holder. To start off, the wheelbase, of course, is a big uh, factor in the stability. I have the C12 wheelbase here, which has a lot of weight here in uh, this part, and it is attached only with the brackets to the wheelbase holder, which means that the most of the mass of the, uh, of the wheelbase overhangs toward the part where there is no support. So other wheelbases which do have uh, a lot of moss that can be placed on the wheelbase holder, it will be much better. Also, you have to make sure that the wheelbase holder is as centered as possible on the frame itself. So don't have it like uh, completely overhanging here as much. I, the more that you center it, the better it will be. Um, 
the periscope um, uh, beams that you have here also make sure that you have them as low as you possibly can the higher you put them the more that the the, the gravity uh, the center of gravity will shift and yeah it will make it a lot less stable as with all the hardware coming from Recting, this is also a very complete package. It comes with a shifter holder. It comes with the little tray to uh, to lock your, your desk chair. It comes with the cable binders. Uh, it comes with the attachment material for your wheelbase and your pedals. And it comes with the tools also uh, to install the entire thing. The footprint is a very important uh, variable why people also buy these wheel stands um, because they don't have a lot of space in their room they don't have a dedicated uh, area for it then a wheel stand it offers really uh, high space efficiency to start off with the dimensions when folded 91 centimeter in height 48 centimeter in width with an extra 15 centimeter when the shifter holder is attached and 45 centimeter in depth plus an extra five centimeter with a shifter holder the dimensions make it perfectly possible to fit in a small closet and yeah perfect for those that don't have a dedicated spot for their simulator when in use the length with a standard desk chair will be around 146 centimeter but assuming it is slid under a desk of 70 centimeter high you will be able to slide most of the rig under the desk and will need to count around 90 centimeter of space for both rig and desk chair again dimensions that are very suitable for those among us that don't have much living space the price of this hardware is 120 euro and it can be found also cheaper using the vouchers uh, that they give out to content creators or during uh, special periods in the year like black friday christmas uh, the price will also go down 100 euro um, i think is uh, is the price which is doable for this uh, this hardware as a conclusion, I would say that you already get a lot of immersion for a very small price. Okay, you sit a bit higher in a, in a desk chair than you sit in, uh, in a, let's say, a Placey Challenge or something, but it already gives you a very, very nice satisfaction when you drive. I won't praise the Recting Explorer 004 as being the most sturdy and stable solution out there. But on the other side of the metal, you have a very space efficient, foldable and portable solution that is very user friendly and comes with everything you need to get started. And all this for a budget price too. That last thing in particular is something that our community should appreciate with such a generally costly hobby. Sometimes it just doesn't have to cost much money to enjoy a simulated drive. Thank you all for watching. I hope you had something from this video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. If you buy this hardware new, don't forget there is a voucher in the description or here somewhere uh, that I will put up. And I will see you all next video. Bye bye.